Bones. Yeah. Bones? Yeah, it's another anime studio. The people who made Cowboy Bebop and, unfortunately, Wolf's Rain. Uh, uh, yes. Never liked Wolf's Rain. I know so many people who like, but I've, I've just never really gotten behind it. Well, I think the people who like it are the ones who are closet furries. It's entirely possible. That's the only thing I can figure out why anybody would actually like that. Closet furries speaking to the slash or both. Yeah. I just never bothered to watch it. I mean, it would come on and it'd just be like, well, the animation looks better than some of the stuff I normally watch, but I don't care. That's because it's Bones. Yeah. Bones, Bones makes really pretty shows. It may not and be Occasionally, they're actually good. Uh, didn't Bones do um, Eureka 7? Probably. I, that's a show I could never watch because I just looked at it and as soon as I started watching it, I was going, I expect this show to end horribly. I have no idea what happened. Sort of? <laughs> no, I still have no idea what actually happened in it. Well, it's an anime. Of course it ends horribly. Yeah. yeah. And fuck, can't you just have, they all lived happily ever after, or they all lived Obviously okay. Not. No, because... How about they all lived? Yeah, they all lived is another one I accept. Well, to be fair, Rumiko Takahashi did that twice. Yes. They forced her to, but she did it twice. Yeah. So, um, I'm telling you, there's no way in hell I would love anyone ever enough to go from modern life to medieval era. I like my indoor plumbing. Yeah. <laughs> We're like, we will introduce modern plumbing to medieval Japan. Yeah. And, uh, I'm not sure how we'll do this, but we'll fucking figure it out. Water also, tanks. As I say, also, there are certain things about being a female in the modern age that are far superior to being a female during the medieval era. Like all of them? Yes, but most specifically, you don't have to have, you know, big piles of cloth. And I'm gonna leave it at that. Yeah. Understood. I, I think we all understood where you were going with that before you went into any level of specifics. Yeah. Also diapers. Yeah. I mean, okay, I know maybe a not. Lot of, I know a lot of tree huggers out there go, Oh my god, you have to use, like, cloth diapers because it's better for the environment? Fuck you, I'm not cleaning up poopy rags. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, the lo the thing I love about uh, the oh god, you gotta use cloth diapers because it's better for the environment. People, a lot of them actually have their cloth diapers like taken out by professional diaper cleaners. Yeah. Use extremely you know environmentally not friendly chemicals to clean yeah. the diapers. And huge fucking um. Washing machines that waste hundreds of gallons of water. Mhm. Mm so really. And they, they have, have big, big giant fucking um uh, vehicles. vehicles. Yeah. So really, in you know truth, you shouldn't just use the disposable <laughs> plastic diapers that are extremely biodegradable. Not like super biodegradable. Uh, degradable. Degradable. <laughs> they just degrade on the baby. Yeah. Degradable tires. Far more than you wanted to. It's like biodegradable toilet paper. You know the stuff that's supposed to break down really quickly. You take one at your camping. The question is, how fast am I gonna be like timed? Is this going to be beat the clock? Because if so, I'm willing to sacrifice the environment. <laughs> and after all, toilet paper is just, you know, paper. Yeah. It's not like it can be that bad. Yeah, it'll break down eventually anyway. It doesn't matter. Like, like the points. points. Yeah. The points don't matter. It's true. Neither do the wombats. I'm sitting hey, down here showing zombies. Hmm? I'm killing zombies for experience, and I don't know why, because I don't need anything enchanted right now. Just because. You will eventually. Yeah. Because fuck zombies. I'd really rather not. Yeah. They, they kind of smell. Uh, uh, we already had this discussion, but anyway. That's one of the... <laughs> one of the people I met uh, through a friend of mine. The first thing he did, because my friend was like, Here, talk to him in line. You two will probably get along. And the first thing... First thing he did was start tell uh, talking to me about his zombie porn collection. Uh, and you went, hi. No, I, I said, you're going, they make what now? Wow, thunderstorm that I can hear way down underground. Hmm. I can't. 
Oh wait, maybe I can toggle that. And, uh, that, it, that it get me out of here? Uh, toggle, where's toggle? Okay, you See, can... nobody gets that, because I'm the only horrible fucking, you know, labyrinth dork. Oh, I got it. Yeah. Oh, because okay, you're the good. one. Because she's a girl. I am. And every girl who grew up watching Labyrinth has a David Bowie fixation in some small level. But uh, that was also a great song, so... Yeah. It was an okay movie, too. I mean, it was a great movie, and you can go to hell. The only thing is I wish Sarah would have burst into flames. Yeah, she was kind of a bitch. She was... Oh my god, everything bad happens to me, because I'm white and middle class, and, and it's so hard! Oh, I'm pretty sure their family were well above middle class. Well, yeah, but... Just kind of, you get everything handed to you on a silver platter, and all you have to do is watch your baby brother go to hell. And then you sit there and bitch about it because you have to watch your baby brother when you have nothing else to do. I mean, you could sit and read while watching your baby brother. Yeah. It's, it's not, not like this infringes on your life. Mm, yeah, well, I'm a horrible person because I'm like, all right, you want me to watch the kid and I didn't want to? All right, sit there in my room, let the baby cry. Well, well yeah. Uh, then again, I don't like children. <laughs> well, babies, mostly. I get along well with kids when they're old enough to talk. That's usually when we start getting along fine. Because I'll just let them sit there and babble on about what they're excited about. and Uh-huh. Yeah, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Where's the coal? Uh -huh. It's in yeah, I see. the nest. I just wanted to throw the coal I Ooh. dug up under there. There should be a full thing of charcoal in the furnace as well. Yeah, I don't know. I've, I've been maintaining the charcoal furnace. Oh. I've been maintaining all of the furnaces. Let's see something. I'm trying to remember. My knee keeps spasming. That's weird. Yeah, it's most of It's really weird, because I'm actually not doing it at all, but I'll just feel, you know, that specific portion of my knee, the muscle will jump. It's kind of weird. Because my knees are crap. But I'm too young to have anything wrong with my knees. Apparently. I can't remember the hell the blaze rods or whatever it is are called that actually allow you to make the thing, because I was going to try and give give some so we could make ender chests. Is it blaze rods or blaze powder? Well, either way, it's not accepting uh, either. You need, blaze, you need blaze rods. Yeah. Well, you can. Well, you need um the powder combined with an ender pearl. To make the... Hold on. I thought it was the blaze rod combined with the ender pearl that I made the eye of ender. Either way, here's what I'm thinking. Nobody loves you. Man. I'm not sure if that was it. Ah, uh, it's true all the same. God damn. That's what she said. Oh, I'm lagging a little bit. Mm, I'm not getting... Who does not want to give me shit. Well, I'm kind of glad when it stumps and doesn't give me shit. Yeah, alright. Well, either way, uh, all right. item number? Yeah, let me look up the damn item number for that. Actually. Yeah, seriously, I'm wondering why you didn't just do that to begin with. Because your mom. Ah, uh, that makes perfect sense. It does. Ooh. There you go. Because yeah. blaze powder is not a valid number. Well, it won't do that on the server. What it does on the server is, um... I can't find blah. But you can actually just type in the... Type in the name, which is why you... Uh, which is why I like Bucket. I now right. want to make a computer try and count the blaze powder. Let's try this. Well, if you, uh, if, you if you were to um, have it count in uh, base 36, you could technically have it do that. Okay. Because that would be 0 to 9 and then A to Z for the digits. Three. Good lord. Four more diamonds. I'm not entirely sure if I... And I, need to kill, and I need to kick something out of my inventory. Well, what well, do you have in your inventory? Right. I was about to say, well, dirt can go to hell. 
Yeah. Or cobblestone. Apparently, yeah. the, according to this list, it was three, two, seven. But what I gave myself was a stack of four buckets of lava. <laughs> I think you did something wrong. Yeah, probably. Okay, I'm gonna run these diamonds back to the underground chest, Let's and then see. I'm gonna go back and dig out that area to see if there are any more. Okay, well, if but... you leave it in the underground chest, then I'll come along and pick it up and put it in the above-ground chest. Awesome. Because that seems to be what I do. Okay. okay I, this... I maintain chests in the farm. All right. You might want to make a minecart with a chest in it, then I can just ship the stuff up to you. Too easy. All right. All right. <laughs> I kind of like that idea, though. Why don't you do that? Too easy. <laughs> I'm not talking to you. No, uh, because potato salad. Three seven, uh, three seventy-seven. Damn, Damn right. potato salad. Hmm. Ruining the list. All right, three seventy-seven. Let's see. You have to That's use seven, smooth seven, stone seven. to That's make a pressure right. plate, don't you? Mm. Yes. There you go. All right, let's cook it. Did you just say you use spoons to make a pressure plate, or did I hear that wrong? Smooth you stone. You heard that wrong. Ah, oh, smooth stone. Okay. Spoon stone. All right, I have how many eyes or ender pearls do we have? Three, I think. All right, I've got four blaze powder. Let's make some ender chests. What do ender chests do? They okay, will... it's actually really cool on multiplayer because you make an ender chest and the inventory basically stores in subspace and you can access it from any other ender chest. And on multiplayer, every player gets their own ender chest inventory. Yeah, so nice. you can access it from any ender chest. Only the stuff you put in there is in there, so no one else can touch it. Yeah, it's actually it's secure storage if you have stuff you need to keep away from other people. Yeah, and even like, if like TNT. Yeah. Aww. And even if it's uh, all right, where did we put? I don't like ender chests. Where did we put the obsidian? <laughs> Special rock. No, and but stuff? if you go on a long yeah. trip and you can carry a couple of ender chests with you, it's actually a really good thing to be able to have. Uh, the ender pearls oh. are in the droppings. Yeah, yeah. Ender, ender pearls are in monster poop. Obsidian is in special rock stuff. So I'll. Uh, let me see. You know what? There. Are... What? Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, at this point, well, I'm probably going to. Uh... Kill me. No. Nah. Maybe later. Mm -hmm. If, if you, you know what I mean. mean. <laughs> Murder. <laughs> Most foul. Something here. Six, eight. All right, because since there are, you know, what are you doing? Oh, since there are four of us, All right? There are four of us. Yeah. 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 Uh, three, six, eight. Despite popular, to count. I am only one person. I'm bad at math. Okay. I'm inside him. That's creepy. No, but I'm gonna give everyone. Isn't it backwards? Yeah. A little it bit. Is. No, but I'm gonna give everyone their own Ender chest. That way, we each have one. Okay. So, Makes sense. May I make a Although suggestion? What's your suggestion? Oh, quiet one. At, technically, at, what? At some point, mm -hmm. make a third, uh, a fifth ender chest to put up in the storeroom so that we anything we find we can basically yeah, ship back there. Good idea. Well, Let me just. Well, except it's not going to work that way because the person who puts it in has to take it out. Yeah, but if the person who puts it in ultimately dies, they can get the stuff back when they get back up there. Well, I think Fair that's... enough. Yes. This, this is one of the best conversations te ever. Technically, we don't each need an ender chest, since, you know, any ender chest we access will have our stuff in it. Yeah. But we I'm don't... still going... But still, it's actually a good idea to leave one up here, so I'll make an extra... Well, I mean, I'm not saying don't make more than one. I just, you know, we don't need to each carry one in inventory. Yeah. No, but we could each put one, say, in our houses, too. That's also not a bad idea, who the hell actually right. goes to their house anymore? Here, have one of these. I sometimes do. When I'm not that up no, I didn't. Well, I just went back to my place because I needed to cook some pork. Ah, oh, that'll do it. Because, yeah, yeah, we don't totally have a whole... The furnaces here were occupied, thank you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put this ender chest... Can I put it here? Yes. I'll put the ender chest by the door. So we can all find it. Hmm. Where are you, Rob? Unfortunately, you Deep. cannot double an ender chest, so you only get the 27 spaces. Uh, Deep underground. Alright, I'll go try and find you to drop off your ender chest. I'm going down the tunnel. If you want to just dump the ender chest in a chest in my house, that I, will, works. I will come back and get it at some point. Now, am I correct that once you have placed an ender chest, it is placed? Well, you can break it with a diamond pick. Okay, good. 
I think. Uh, if you do that, though, you do not get the Eye of Ender back. Okay. Oh, I thought that you could actually pick up the, uh... You oh. need Silk Touch to do that. Oh, okay. that's right. So, actually, I'm going to make myself a new pickaxe and enchant it with Silk Touch. Hmm. That's a good idea. Silk Touch. Yeah, Silk Touch allows you to break a block and collect that block. Yes. As opposed to, you know, uh, fish. The, cons the well... Yeah, I mean, depending what you break, it will either break back down into what it started as, or, like, if you use Silk Touch on a stone block, it will stay a stone block instead of turning into cobble. Yeah. If you use it on a uh, block of dirt with grass on it, you will get a block of dirt with grass on it. Yeah. That's why it's I... useful in some situations, but in other cases it can be kind of maddening. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's mad here. Everyone floats down here. It seems like it's something. Okay. We're all crazy. We're all bozos on this bus. <laughs> the fire sign theater. One of the most lunatic groups on the planet. Alright. I'll put my ender chest down by the monster spawner, I think. Well, again, it doesn't have to be anybody's ender chest specifically. Yeah. Well, I just mean I'll put the one I have. Yeah, it's just terminals. Yes, it's a I terminal. wonder if I need 30 experience to get a silk touch. Probably. Yeah, they only appear on the high end of the spectrum. All right, then back down to the grinder. No! I was in here in case they're important. What? Later. I don't care. I was just fucking with you. Yeah. Well, yeah, I don't know how me going back down to the grinder could be a problem for you. It, it will kill, kill me. me. So, back so down to the grinder. Run faster. But <laughs> uh, no, what I was gonna, because I would need to go down and, because I need to get some so I can do a... Well, I I got like nine-tenths of a level to go to get to yeah. 30, so I will only take a couple minutes. I love that you just were accepting of this and ignoring the fact that I'm leaving out huge chunks of words from my sentence. <laughs> what? Uh, exactly. <laughs> just because I'm a girl, you're not listening to me. I'm sorry, all I heard was blah 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 girl things. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's suddenly a Fairly Odd Parents episode all up in this blah, 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 blah. Uh, blah 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 girl parts what yeah I don't, I don't know what just happened, happened but I'm a little frightened, frightened. <laughs> <laughs> I went to take some smooth stone out of the furnace so I of course shift clicked in the smooth stone it replaced all of the cobble with smooth stone and then all of the cobble Girl, the smooth stone turned into 64 cobble. That's odd. It sounds like lag. A little bit. Well, that's okay. We'll probably end up calling it sometime soon since it's almost two. Yeah. Oh, shit, it is, isn't it? Yeah. I've done nothing. <laughs> I've done nothing other than dig out a large area and fight monsters. Oh, hey, I forgot. I found... I found... I get experience from oh, there's a slime. around with stuff. Mm. I found all the diamonds that I set myself on fire trying to find on XV server. Hooray! Um, Arma. My phone has been ringing like that? hell for a while, too. Oh, really? I'm sure that's uh, my friend who uh, probably wants to hang out. Let me double check that. Kevin, probably. Okay, now yeah, I, know I know what a slime there. sounds like. Yeah, that's... Well, since he watches these occasionally, hi, Kevin. Yeah. Since he currently has a functional computer, unfortunately, his last one was beyond any and all saving. Which you all will right. find out shortly. Yeah. Maybe in this video if I don't get back to him. <laughs> I don't even know uh, where the hell Angelique, my phone... I'm done with the uh, mob grinder if you want to go down there and use it. Yeah, the only problem is I can't see what I'm enchanting stuff with. Well, I'll work well, on Well, they can still accumulate the experience. That's true. Not and I had forgotten that cooking stuff actually gives me XP, so I'm up yeah. to 13. Ah, nice. 
I feel like I should make a really, really sexist comment here about a woman gaining experience through cooking. I think you just did. There you go. And then she hit me in the back. I did not. <laughs> That's because she can't reach me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Which that's okay, there's that Cooking Mama, Mama game, so I'm not sure how much more uh, sexist we can get. That's okay, I like the fact that uh, Peter created a version of that that's basically about murder. Because yeah. they declare the woman is obviously a murderer because she cooks meat dishes. Mm. Yes, but we already went over PETA. So. Yeah. People for the edible treatment of tacos. Unbreaking mm. efficiency in silk touch, that sounds good. Yeah, yes. oh yeah. I love this mod. <laughs> I'm, I'm excited about the, uh, now I wanted to say tacos again. God damn it. Uh, uh, I'd be table. excited about some tacos. tacos. I know, damn it. I think I'm going to have to go to some tacos tomorrow. <laughs> now that you mentioned that. Tacos I have been craving for some sushi today, too. I haven't done that in a while. We got to go out and do that on my birthday. I heard. How was it? It was pretty good. It was not worth the price, though. It was like uh, $5 to $6 a roll. See, that's that's kind of the trick with sushi, which, you know, you uh, don't get as much as you feel like you're paying for. Yeah. So. And the worst part is when it's the California rolls or something, there's no valid reason for you to be paying that much. Except uh, that you're at a sushi place. Yeah. And, like, what you are giving me is, you know, animal feed on a roll or on a sheet of rice rolled in seaweed. Come on, man. Upshot is that it is also a Chinese restaurant, and it is apparently a really good Chinese restaurant. Way better than the local Chinese restaurants, and the prices are the same. It's just yeah. like an extra two miles drive. So, in, worth it. In Nashville, there's actually a buffet that has, like, regular sushi on it, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is, like, not lethal. <laughs> Actually, pretty yeah, good. Yeah, it's amazing. In most places, they actually have all-you-can-eat buffets with sushi on it. It's just that here... Apparently in Baltimore, no. Well, there was a restaurant a friend of me recommended, but I looked at the review and what the... Every a friend of me? Or a friend recommended me. But I looked at the reviews and every review said almost the same thing. The waitress staff here are horrible bitches and will actually complain to your face if you don't think you're being... If they don't think you're being tipped enough. Even if you bought the buffet and they had nothing to do with you. We don't have a chest for dirt? Was that also the one? Somewhere. It's on the yeah, second floor. Oh. Um, was that also the one where you got, or everybody said they had food poisoning? Yeah, three people had had food poisoning in the past like week and a half or two. So I was like, yeah, no, no that's that just won't do. Anyway, this is where we're gonna call it. I think for tonight's recording. I'm touching right. the zombie's crotch. So we'll be back next time, and she's doing dirty things to zombies. So with a torch. Till then. What bye. else is new?